Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks here. And today I'm going to show you how to connect your Arcos gamepad to uh, various devices over USB. Here's the Rockard Iskui Illuminated Gaming Keyboard. And as you can see, as soon as I'm pressing the arrow keys, I can easily navigate all over the different home screens. Uh, we put um, the music player here on one of the function keys. You're pressing escape, you're getting out of this, or at least you're getting back to this album overview. And once again, using the arrow keys to navigate through this game player. Uh, not the game player, it's of course an audio player. Um, over here we're using the YouTube app. Once again, that works easily. And of course, you can just use it as, hello, a keyboard. What else? So let's head over to our German site, mobilegeeks.de. That works without any problems. Um, what about connecting a mouse to it? Here's a Rockat uh, Cone Pure. It's a special gaming mouse. And uh, let's see how that works out. Well, at least uh, you can also see it's getting illuminated. And we're getting a little uh, mouse arrow here. And we can use the scroll wheel to navigate over our website or on our website. It's the same when you're starting a YouTube video. So this was actually the unboxing of the Arcos gamepad. And of course, that works without any problems. Uh, what about external storage units? Uh, we have a Western Digital external hard drive. That's the MyBook 3.0. And uh, let's try to play back some media files from this Western Digital hard disk. And, well, it works. Well, it seems that the Arcos gamepad is definitely compatible to all kinds of different USB devices. And of course, it offers you enough performance to play back each and every HD movie that you can imagine. Not so sure about blu ray 40 mbit, whatever. What about a, a USB memory stick? Here's one from Kingston, the ultimate really fast one. And uh, as you can see, here we go. It just takes you like four or five seconds. And then the Arcos gamepad recognize the device and it's just integrating it into your file system. So that's no problem at all. Um, now it's getting a little bit tricky. What about our a 4G or a 3G stick here? This one is from one and one It's running on the network of the Java provider. And as you can see again, it's recognizing it. It's asking for a pin code. So we should be connected by now. And let's see if we can finally serve the internet. Here we go again. That's mobilegeeks.de. And obviously, it works pretty well. Well, unfortunately, there's also one device that isn't working. That's this Western Digital My Passport Elite 500. It's just not getting recognized. I'm Sasha for Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching. Bye.